Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learner's Planet. Uh, friends, this is our first session for the topic straight line. Uh, you might have attended the basic session of coordinate geometry and uh, I'm sure you are clear with the basic concepts of coordinate geometry like uh, you must be knowing the distance formula, you must be knowing the section formula that is internal external division and some more right and if you haven't attended the basic session of coordinate geometry do attend that before you come for this session okay so here we start a uh, straight line now let's begin with a uh, definition the straight line is a curve such that every point on the line segment joining any two points on its on it lies on it precisely it is a combination of so many curves and the curves are so small that uh, we feel them as a straight line okay the simplest locus of a point in a plane is a straight line a line can be determined uniquely by any one of the following condition two different points uh, and a point in a given direction right See, you must be knowing uh, from these two points, from the two fixed point, only one line can pass. Then, unique line through a given point with a given direction, right? This uh, angle is 45 degree and in this direction, when the angle is 45 degree, through a particular point, only a single line can pass. Similarly, infinite number of lines can pass through a given point. Here we can see origin and so many lines are passing through origin in different directions, right? And uh, infinite number of lines can pass uh, in the given direction. See, all of these lines are making 45 degree angle with OX axis, right? But all of them are passing through different points, right? So if direction is same, points are same, then there will be a single line like this. If direction is same but points are different, then there may be infinite lines, okay? Now we have seen all these figures and it's very clear that infinite lines can pass through a point or are in the same direction, right? So if we wish to determine a line uniquely, two geometrical conditions are required. Let's discuss that these uh, the two geometrical conditions. That is slope of a line. The trigonometric tangent of the angle that a line makes with the positive direction of x axis in the anti clockwise sense is called the slope of the line here this is slope of the line this is positive direction of x axis and uh, we have to go anti clockwise direction okay so this is nothing but the slope of the line similarly over here this is slope of the line okay then And this is actually angle and tangent of this angle is uh, will actually be slope, right? The trigonometrical tangent of angle that a line makes with positive direction is known as slope. So slope, uh, this angle is 45 degree, that means this uh, inclination is 45 degree, but slope will be 10, 45 degree, okay? Now, if theta is the angle at which a straight line is inclined to the positive direction of x axis, then 10 theta is called the slope or gradient of the line and where this theta is between 0 to 180 degree. Okay, And uh, it's very important that you need to take the direction as anti-clockwise. Okay? Now, suppose uh, you wish to find out angle of this, right? Uh, maybe slope of this line. So, the slope of this line should be calculated from this side, right? this way so it will de definitely uh, it will be more than 90 degree if you take it from this side it will be less than 90 degree right so the calculation of slope will be wrong right so you have to take uh, the direction from the positive direction of uh, positive side of x axis and direction should be anti clockwise okay that's really important uh, the slope of a line is generally denoted by m and actually m is 10 theta basically slope is 10 theta so and the slope is denoted by m that means m is equal to 10 theta slope of a line through the points a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that means um, difference between ordinates and different between difference between epsisa okay 
uh, will see the derivation of this so not to worry about it as of now just keep this thing in mind the slope is nothing but the difference between ordinates by difference between abscissa okay now we see how do we find out the slope of a line that is passing through two points here uh, it is passing through two points a and b x1 y1 and x2 y2 right now you can see this triangle this triangle and this triangle all the three triangles are similar to each other because this line is parallel to this line right so suppose this angle is theta okay slope of this line will be what it will be 10 theta right if this angle is theta this will also be uh, this angle is theta then this will be theta and this will also be theta okay now I take I extend this line and I have this triangle B A and I suppose this is say L right I have this triangle now in this triangle this angle is theta I'm just considering this triangle okay this angle is theta right and this line is passing through two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 now according to trigonometry 10 theta will be what perpendicular by base now perpendicular is this length right this length now this length how, how can we calculate from this point to this point minus from this point to this point so the total length from this point to this point is nothing but y2 right this total length is y2 and from this point to this point it is y right that is this length so th from this point to this point it is uh, I'm sorry y1 okay so that is perpendicular and by base so from this point to this point the total length is x2 and from that if I deduct the length from this point to this point that is actually x1 I'll be able to get this length this length is actually same as this length right so total length minus this length right coordinates of a x1 y1 that means this length is x1 and this length is y1 okay so 10 theta is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 that is the slope of the line passing through two points we can uh, say 10 theta is m also right so precisely y2 minus y1 is equal to m x2 minus x1 this is the equation of a straight line that we'll discuss in detail later on but as of now 10 theta or slope of the line is clear to you okay now uh, we see the different forms of straight lines the first is the very important one is slope intercept form right equation of a line whose slope is m and which cuts an intercept c on y axis uh, that is it passes through point 0 c is given by y is equal to mx plus c now how do we do that so this is the length of intercept okay this point is nothing but 0 c that means x coordinate is 0 and uh, y coordinate the value is c now I draw a line parallel to x axis now I just complete the triangle okay now you can see this triangle is similar to this triangle if this angle is theta this will also be theta right so according to the previous calculation then 10 theta is what perpendicular by base so for this triangle perpendicular is what this length the total length is what y this length is what c because this length is c so the total length I uh, I assume this point to be x y right so this is x y so the total length is y out of this if I deduct this length that is actually c that is a length of intercept I'll be getting the length of the perpendicular so that is y minus c okay divide by the total this length right if the coordinate of this point is x that means this length will be nothing but x okay same as this 
okay so it is y minus c by x 10 theta is actually m so if you cross multiply this you'll be getting y is equal to mx plus c that is the slope intercept form right why do we call it as a slope intercept form because we have slope over here and we have uh, intercept over here so if we know slope of the line and its intercept on y axis we can make the equation of line right only two unknown things are there right m and c okay so if you know m if you know c you can make this equation of line okay so that is slope intercept form and that's really important now we try this problem uh, based on this concept a uh, small uh, slope intercept form a straight line makes an angle of 135 degree with x axis and cuts y axis at a distance of minus 5 from the origin the equation of the line is okay 10 theta here theta is 135 degree degree right so slope will be m is equal to 10 135 degree that is 10 90 plus 45 or we can say minus cot 45 that is minus 1 right so slope is minus 1 then intercept is minus 5 that means c is equal to minus 5 now you know intercept you know slope you can construct the equation of line y is equal to mx plus c now y is equal to m is what minus 1 and uh, what is c c is minus 5 okay so it is y plus x plus 5 is equal to 0 or we can say x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0 okay so this one i hope you are clear now next important form is a point and slope form the equation of a line passing through the point x1 y1 and having slope m is given by this now how do we find this see here in this case we just know that line is passing through just one point x1 y1 right so we don't know the value of x2 y2 so our problem is uh, starts from x1 y1 only okay so this line is passing through x1 y1 again this line is making a slope the slope is actually 10 theta so i assume this to be theta right obviously it is uh, the slope is theta so it will be the slope is 10 theta so this angle will be theta right now we take this triangle this triangle okay and uh, we can also say this triangle is similar to this triangle because this line is parallel to this line okay so if this angle is theta this will also be theta okay so now we take this triangle this angle is theta so slope will be tan theta that is m is equal to perpendicular by base now what is perpendicular the total length that is actually y total height of the line is y minus this length right so we'll be getting this length okay so total length is y from that we deduct this length that is actually y1 by this from this point to this point the total uh, length is x1 uh, i'm sorry x and from this if we deduct this length this is actually x1 then we'll be able to get this length and this length is equal to this length getting my point so we are finding out the dimensions of this triangle paq the total height is um y from that we are deducting this side that is y1 so we'll be able to get the length pq so that is y minus y1 similarly the total length from this point to this point is actually x okay from that if we deduct this length that is this length okay so that is x1 so x minus x1 so m is equal to y minus y1 upon x minus x1 or we can say y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 right so if you know a slope and uh, if you know the slope of the line and the line is passing through point x1 y1 you can make the equation of the line right so that is point slope form so in the previous um, derivation we learned that y is equal to mx plus c right so this is actually slope intercept form if you know slope if you know intercept you can make the equation of line if you don't know the uh, intercept and if you know the slope and the 
one point from which the line is passing through then also you can make the equation of the line okay so two forms we have discussed now the third one is two point form our uh, friends we have already calculated the slope when the line is passing through two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 right so slope was y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 right so if we put the value of this slope over here right uh, precisely that that is nothing y2 minus y1 is equal to m x2 minus x1 okay value of this if we put up in point uh, slope form that is y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 that is point slope form that we have already discussed so y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 uh, in, uh, if i put up the value of m as y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 i'll be getting two point form because we require two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 right so if we know the two points from which the line is passing through then also we can make the equation so we got the three methods right point slope form a uh, one point form and a uh, two point form right so all the three are very important we'll be using them while we'll be solving the problems right so if you know point plus slope you can find out one point uh, plus slope then you can find out the equation of line if you know uh, two points then also you can find out the equation of line the third is if you know slope plus y intercept then also you can find the equation of the line so there are three methods right this one point form this is two point form and the third one is slope intercept form that is y is equal to mx plus c so i'm just revising them again one point form two point form we require two points over here here we require one point and slope here we require two points and here we require require slope and intercept right so three uh, major type of lines are there major type major forms of lines are there okay now the next is intercept form the equation of the line which cuts off intercepts a and b on x axis and y axis respectively is given by this now if it is cutting x axis at the point a that means this length is a and y coordinate will obviously be zero similarly on y axis this length is b and x coordinate will be zero right now we know the line is passing through these two points zero b and a zero and we have already derived the formula for the line where when it is passing through two different points so what will be the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 right suppose this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 whatever you can assume that really doesn't matter so y2 minus y1 that means 0 minus y1 by a minus 0 i'm sorry 0 minus b minus b upon a minus 0 so slope is equal to minus b by a right now we know the slope uh, we have to write down the equation of the line so y minus y1 that is b is equal to m x minus x1 okay y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 okay so m we have already calculated minus b by a now what you can do is a y minus a b is equal to minus bx plus 0 right so ay plus bx is equal to ab okay if you divide this left hand side and right hand side by ab you will be getting ay by ab plus bx by ab is equal to ab by ab that means 1 that means x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 so friends when you know x and y intercept directly you can frame the equation of line right x by intercept on x axis plus y by intercept on y axis is equal to 1 so directly you can use this relation okay and uh, i have also shown you the derivation of the same so that's pretty easy let's move 
now the next important thing is the angle between the two lines right uh, suppose we have these two lines one is this and other is this and we are interested in finding out the angle between these two lines this line and this line right suppose slope of this line is uh, uh, we can say m1 or uh, that is 10 theta 1 right and slope of this line that is m2 that is 10 theta 2 okay an angle between these two lines is nothing but uh, we assume that is theta okay now if slope is uh, m2 is equal to 10 theta 2 that means this angle must be theta 2 but this angle must be pi minus theta 1 because we take slope from positive direction of axis axis right so this angle is actually theta 1 that means this angle must be pi minus theta 1 now all these three that is theta plus theta 2 plus pi minus theta 1 should be pi right 180 degree okay because the sum of the three angles of the triangle should be 180 degree that means theta is a uh, theta I'm sorry this is theta this angle that is theta plus theta 2 plus pi minus theta 1 right this angle plus this angle plus this angle so theta plus theta 2 plus pi minus theta 1 that should be equal to pi right so pi and pi is cancelled that means theta is equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 okay theta is equal to uh, it will it will go right hand side theta 1 minus theta 2 that means 10 theta will be equal to 10 theta 1 minus theta 2 right now 10 a minus 10 b what will be the formula 10 theta 1 minus 10 theta 2 upon 1 plus 10 theta 1 10 theta 2 okay 10 theta we can write it as m that is the angle between the two points or just 10 theta that is 10 theta 1 that is m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 so it is actually very 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 important okay that is the angle between the two lines when the slope of first line is m1 and the slope of the other line is m2 is given by 10 theta is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 now the next interesting part right angle between two lines is given by 10 theta is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 now if the two lines are perpendicular to each other right if the lines are perpendicular to each other that means theta will be 90 degree right the angle between the two line must be 90 degree that means 10 theta will be 1090 and 1090 is what 1 upon 0 right that is infinite that means 1090 that means the denominator is 0 that means 1 plus m1 m2 is 0 right if the lines are perpendicular 1 plus m1 m2 will be equal to 0 that means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 an essential condition if the lines are perpendicular to each other right or you can say if the lines are perpendicular to each other product of their slopes must be minus 1 okay so when two lines are perpendicular to each other that means angle between them uh, that is theta that is 90 degree that is this angle must be 90 degree if theta is 90 degree 1090 is 1 by 0 that means denominator must be 0 so 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to 0 the second condition if the two lines are parallel if the lines are parallel then slope is always same okay if the lines are parallel slope is same that means m1 minus m2 should be 0 that means there is no angle between this two see between these two lines the lines are parallel there is no angle between these two right that means uh, theta is 0 so if 10 theta that is 10 0 that means 0 that means m1 minus m2 is 0 that means m1 is equal to m2 right so this is the essential condition for perpendicularism and this is the essential condition for parallelism if the two lines are having an angle theta between them then 10 theta 
is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2 that means uh, their m1 and m2 are slopes of individual lines and if the lines are perpendicular to each other theta will be 90 degree 1090 is not defined that means denominator is 0 that means 1 plus m1 m2 is 0 that means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 right if the two lines are parallel that means the angle between the two is 0 that means 10 0 that is is equal to 0 that means numerator is 0 that means m1 minus m2 is 0 that means m1 is equal to m2 right so if the two lines are parallel the slopes will be equal if the two lines are perpendicular to each other product of their slopes must be minus one so this is really 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 important okay so in this session we discussed the forms of various forms of lines and we discussed this very important relationship okay in the next session we'll be taking the problems on these basic concepts so do revise this session and yes you should be clear with the basics of coordinate geometry then only you'll feel uh, this uh, straight line topic to be very easy okay so i'll see you in the next session once again bye bye